Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you our complete guide to packing for Amtrak. I am going to show you seven things that you must bring with you and I'm also going to share with you two things that you should definitely not bring with you on this trip. So uh, I'm only half of the picture here. I'm only Allie and Rob's not with me because we figured it was just gonna be too messy to have both of us do this. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you everything about our packing. And first of all, I wanna start out by saying that it's we use a three bag system when we're going on Amtrak. And it doesn't matter if you're traveling in coach or in sleeper cars, you're gonna use the same system basically. And the three bag system is as follows. You'll have a backpack for all of your, all of your, your uh, very important and valuable things. This is what's going to move around the train with you. If you're going to the bathroom, to the snack car, wherever, you're bringing your valuables with you. So this is great because you're gonna put all of those important things and valuable things in here and have them with you all the time. Easy to take, just put on your back and you're good to go. So the backpack is a perfect thing. This one we really like because is you've probably already seen Rob's, but I actually upgraded mine for the same purpose with why Rob has his, is that see how this is flat? The backpacks that have that big pouch up here, those don't slide under the seats very well, and uh, oftentimes not at all, because this pouch on uh, those backpacks sticks out so much that it just makes it impossible to slide underneath the seat. This is nice because you see how this is basically all flat. So it's, it fits very well under the seats on Amtrak. And actually you can use these in coach or in the sleeper cars, it will fit under those seats easily. And as a matter of fact, we've used them on the airlines as well. And even budget airlines with the smaller overhead bins and this backpack fits in there as well. Uh, oh, before I get too far, there's gonna be links in the description down below for all of the items so that you can uh, just grab those and be ready for your trip. Now, the second thing that you'll need is of course your big suitcase. And this is the bag that you're gonna use for all of your things, all your clothes, that kind of stuff. But Here's the thing, is that uh, sometimes you've probably heard us say that sometimes we check our bag and sometimes we do not. When we, were, we are on a view liner, which are the trains that come to and from New York, we, do, we ch uh, check our bag because there's nowhere to put them in the room. If you've seen the room videos before, you'll know that there's no racks, uh, no luggage racks to put the bags on. And they do have the storage overhead in the view liners, but these bags, well, they're hard to lift to get all the way up there. And oftentimes you can barely get one of these 23 inch bags up there. So do not recommend that. If you are on a super liner, that's the double decker ones, uh, usually coming in and out of Chicago, going east to west for the most part, you are going to keep your bag with you because they have a luggage rack. When you get onto the train, you just set your bag there and you don't have to worry about it until you're getting off of the train. Never had security issue or anything like that. The attendant is always milling about, so there's not really gonna be a problem there. Let me show you ours very briefly here. So I like this kind because it kind of locks everything in. So when you open it, everything doesn't go flying. It does have the extender on it, but obviously you don't want to put so much stuff in your bag that you need the extender. And then, so I like that it zips like this, but I'm a compartment kind of gal and Rob is turned into that too, but we love these e-bags. So you can shove everything in there and zipper it. When you unzip it, the whole thing comes <laughs> popping out of all this stuff. Same thing here, you know, I don't have this one zipped right now, but you can just zip it right up and you're good to go. And then I've got my toiletry bag in here. We'll talk a little bit more about toiletry bags in just a minute. But this is basically, you know, nothing important is in this bag is what it boils down to because whether you have it with you on a super liner on the luggage rack or you check it on a view liner, it won't matter because 
there's nothing important in here, so you're not gonna be worried. So you're thinking to yourself, well, where's the toiletry bag and all that stuff gonna go? Okay, well, that's where the third bag comes in. Remember, I said it's a three bag system. So the backpack for all the important things, the suitcase for your clothes and all those extra things, hair stuff and all the hair dryer and all that stuff. This bag here, okay, is a packable duffel bag. So we always have this with us. So if we're flying from somewhere or a cruise ship or whatever, uh, this is nice because it gives you that extra bag if you have to move things around or, you know, like on a cruise ship, sometimes, you know, you're checking your bag, then you can have this and keep your essentials with you. Same thing with the train. This is what you're going to take out. The stuff you take out of here, you're going to put in here for your overnight. And those important things are going to be your pajamas, um, your toiletries. And so see how nice this bag is. Look at this. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, so, and it has like a pocket out here and then the inside pocket is actually where the whole thing folds into, which is, see that you saw that a minute ago. That's actually the inside of the pocket on the inside. So that's a great bag. This is the perfect, perfect size. Uh, for us, we could fit both of our toiletry bags in there, pajamas, flip-flops, um, some snacks like candies and stuff like that, uh, earbuds and adapters and all that kind of stuff. So that is our three bag system. I'm going to zip this big bag and just pop it out of the way because I wanna show you the seven things that you really need to bring with you and I'm gonna show you also two things that you should most definitely not bring with you. And one of them will probably get you in trouble with your attendant if you bring it. So let's move that guy out of the way. And this is what we're gonna concentrate. So the first item is this bag. <laughs> you have got to have one of these bags because it is perfect for an overnight trip. Um, and it, again, it doesn't matter if you're in coach or in sleeper, this is perfect because you can have, even if you're in coach, you're going to want to wash up. So you're gonna wanna have some toiletries with you, some flip flops for at night when you take your regular shoes off. You don't wanna be tying your sneakers and that kind of stuff to get um, you know, to the bathroom in the middle of the night or if you wanna move around or if you wanna go outside or whatever. So let's talk about what goes in this bag because that's essentially uh, all the important things. So I talked about toiletry bags and here's a, a lesson in do's and don'ts. So this is my toiletry bag and this one is Rob's. Now what's important here is besides the fact that this is a freebie from Train Italia when we were riding trains in Italy. <laughs> you can watch those videos here on the channel, but I'm using this freebie, but this is missing something. So it does have a hook. Okay. But if I hook that and I open this, my stuff could very easily fall out, which is what happens half the time. I end up doing it like part way like that. It's kind of uncomfortable. What I really need is one of these guys. Um, so this bag here has this very important thing. And that means this hook right here, I can hook it right on the door and I do not have to worry about the, ch the train jostling. The train is going to be moving around. And if you've got it on the counter, it's just gonna fall right off. That has happened. <laughs> uh, but we learned our lesson after the very first ride and said, oh, we're gonna have to hook this thing somewhere. So went out and switched out and Rob got his one, my other one, Long story short, I'm using this one temporarily. I gotta get a new one, a hanging one. But Rob has this, his hanging one still. He's had this for a really long time. So this actually lasts longer. Look at that, it hasn't even torn, which is absolutely amazing. So he just hooks this and then he's got access to all of his things. He can even hang his little washcloth in there that they give you and he doesn't have to worry about, you know, this is gonna be a mess or it's gonna fall or worry about while he's trying to brush his teeth hanging onto his bag. So these two toiletry bags are gonna go in our overnight bag. So let's stick that in there. And I like to put one on each end because that makes the bag then easier to get to. So I do it like that. And then the next thing is I get cold all the time. I don't know about you guys, but the train always feels cold to me. And I use this nice little shawl as like an extra, an extra wrap. We have the, the you know, sheets and the little, you know, 
kind of comforter they give you, but this is really nice because you can use it to go to dinner or whatever and not feel like you have to wear a big jacket or something to dinner. So that is the next thing. That's an overnight thing because I do get cold in the train car itself. So I'm gonna fold that up and we're gonna put that right into the bottom, okay? So that's your base. The next thing is gonna be flip-flops. And instead of flip-flops, this is what Rob has gone with. Um, and these Timberlands, he's had these for a long time and he absolutely loves them. Uh, I don't think they're making these particular ones anymore. So we have links to ones very similar to them down in the description. But what's really great about these that he loves is he is able to wear these to, uh, you know, exchange lots of different uh, scenarios. So he can wear these to the beach, he can wear them to the mall, he can wear them to dinner grocery shopping, and most importantly on the train is that he can wear them to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And see how these are stretched out like this? This just slides and buckles like that. The nice thing in the middle of the night is he doesn't even have to do that. He could just slide his foot right in here and not have to worry about the Velcro. So that's really nice. We're gonna pack those in. And then we're actually, I'm gonna slide mine right off because <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. And then I'm gonna slide those right in there. So that's important. You gotta have those flips for, you know, flip flops for in the middle of the night because you do not want to walk around the train and definitely not in the bathroom with no shoes on. All right, next thing is really important also. Uh, you, you only have one outlet for the most part uh, in the sleeper cars and in coach, you generally only have access to one of the outlets. Now, if you're in coach and you're sitting in the aisle seat, you may not be able to access either because both outlets are by the window. And even though they're to be shared between the two seats, if you don't know the person at the window, it just turns into a whole awkward situation. We like to avoid that by just bringing this battery pack with us. What I like about this one, see if I can get it to come on, yep, it's on. Um, it tells you how much percentage you have left. You can charge actually three things at once. We've only ever done two at once, so I don't know how it would work for the two, for three, but it does have three spots. It has two regular USBs and a USB-C. So that's really fantastic that you can do a both. So we use that all the time, love it. So this guy, it goes into the bag as well. Next one, all right, so while we're talking about charging things, this one, if you've seen our channel at all, you know this is our best travel bud. I always say that this travel adapter needs to have its own passport. <laughs> because I've been to so many places, so many countries with us. What's so great about this, Allie? This is what's so great about it. Okay, first of all, you can use this in any country. We have never been to a country where we could not use this. So you just slide here and it, whatever adapter you need slides out, press the button on the other side, switch it, press the button on the other side, switch it. And this is what you're gonna use on the train. So this is the US adapter. You're gonna plug that right in. And what happens is you go from one electrical outlet to one, two, three, four, five five electrical outlets. And this has a nice little light, uh, orange light that comes out of it at night is perfect for a little bit of night light in the room so it's not pitch dark also. So that is really amazing. So you go from being able to only charge one thing to being able to char charge five things. So four USB and one with a regular um, electrical spot. So this guy is our best friend and he is definitely going in the bag. The next thing is only something I use. Rob never uses these because he has no problem with the sound in the train. I have trouble with noise. Probably stems from when we had little kids. I would just always wake up, I think. And so now I still have trouble with sound. If I hear something, then I wake up. So uh, I was for a long time using the Bose Sleep Buds and uh, those were so, so awesome. I loved them and it came with an app and you can do all this, but the, you can do, you know, set it up to whatever sounds you wanted, white noise, brown noise, whatever. But the problem was that the longer I had it, 
the worse the battery life got. And the whole reason why I got them was for the battery life because they lasted 12 to 16 hours. Well, Bose didn't do well very, didn't do very well with them and they did away with the entire product. So once they went bad, I was never able to replace them, but I got a way cheaper option. I bought these loops and these don't have an app and they don't have sound but they are absolutely incredible. These are probably the best noise canceling. They're so hard to see because they're so tiny. Let me, sh probably if I put them in here, there we go. They are the best noise canceling uh, little earplugs I think I've ever seen. And they're actually made to block out noise. They have different ones that you can get. Uh, like if you want it to just block out loud sounds or if you want like, to block, depending on how much sound you wanna block out, you can get different ones. I, of course, got the ones that block out the most amount of sound. These are awesome. So those are 100% going into the bag. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are the seven things that you should definitely bring. The other things that I put in this bag, I got two more to show you, the things definitely not to bring. We'll talk about those in a second. But the, the, so I can finish packing this bag. The other things I pack is change of clothes. So a, a, two shirts, one for each of us to change into. And then pajamas for both of us. So now you see, we still have plenty of room in here. And then the last thing is, I always bring my, can't see them in here very well, but I have my, little ginger chews in here, and then sometimes we bring a little candy too, because sometimes that helps as well if the ginger chews don't help for if I get motion sickness. And then the other, only other thing I didn't put in here was snacks, like if you wanna bring some crackers or anything like that, and then you're good to go. You're ready with your overnight bag. Ta-da, easy peasy. Slap it on the top of your bag. When you get there, put it, and this slides perfectly underneath the seats and so you don't have to worry about that. And if you're in coach, easily fits in the overhead or under the seat in front of you, and you're good. So, now that we got all that done, you guys, let's talk about some things you do not need to bring. So, if you are, this is the only thing that does, uh, these two things do not, well, maybe. I was gonna say don't apply to coach, but one of them, I think, does. The first thing, applies just to sleeper car passengers. And one thing you do not need to bring is a towel. They do provide uh, soap, shampoo, and towels for you. And I think on several of the trains, they even have single use um, razors as well. So do not bring a towel with you. Don't waste space in your bag or in your backpack or in your overnight bag. Do not bother bringing a towel with you. The next thing is actually something that could be a real hazard. And we have actually seen people get in trouble for having these two items, which I combine into one, um, on the train with them. So we overheard the conversation, a family had brought food with them and they wanted to warm it up themselves. And they had a kettle with them in the roomette and they also had a walk in the roomette with them and they were attempting to cook up their own meals in the roomette. And I completely understand the, the need, you know, for if you have a special diet or needs or something like that. But the attendant, you know, dealt with it so well. He said, you know, I can heat this up for you or I can make the accommodations because it was a special circumstance with this family. And they just didn't know to ask. So ask your attendant, don't show up with, you know, electrical kitchen items because, you know, if you forget these, you know, leave them plugged in or if they're too hot and you walk out of your room, something could happen. So it is pretty dangerous and you really shouldn't have stuff like this with you. So those two things you don't need, electrical kitchen items, and you definitely do not need towels because they provide you nice clean ones on the train. Guys, I really hope that this was helpful to you. You guys ask us all the time. And we've done a couple other uh, packing videos as well here on the channel. This is our complete guide. So you'll know what you definitely should bring, how you should definitely pack your bags. And when 
you should and should not uh, check your checked bag or your big bags as well. So guys, if you have questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section as always. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do that now. Give us a like and I will see you next time.